are CMP Bonjour. Well, I mean, it's possible that maybe you um, you bought a vehicle that maybe it was uh, stolen. That's possible. I'm Jason Steele, and I work at the Southern Alberta OCC. That's the Operational Control Centre for the RCMP here in Alberta. Some days there might be not much going on, but there are most days we are busy. We are just flat out all day long. That was the, the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre, is that the one you called then? Or? We find that one of the most uh, troubling things is we deal with 911 as well as non-emergency calls for the province for all the RCMP divisions. And for us, uh, people that hang up uh, before telling us what they were calling about on 911 is certainly one of our biggest challenges. Uh, we encourage everyone to stay on the line, even if whatever it is that they're calling about has changed or they see that somebody else is on the line calling the same thing in, we need to be able to match up that call with the event. And unfortunately, when people hang up without us speaking to them, uh, it then causes a backload in our comm centre. When you reach the police, you're talking to the dispatch centre, you're talking to me or one of my co-workers. So oftentimes it's not in the area that you're calling from, so we need to ask you where you are calling from and we want you to help us by giving us information of where you are. We know that you're in a stressful situation, so we're there to help you. Now the key things we're looking for when you call 911 is we want to know where you are, who you are, what's happening, when this happened, if it's something that's going on right now or if this is something that happened in the past. And we want to know about safety concerns like weapons, alcohol, drugs, uh, because those impact how our officers are going to attend and what they're going to be dealing with when they get there. We also have people that um, don't realize that disconnected cell phones uh, still can call 911 even though if it's not on one of their service providers. We actually had an incident just a few weeks ago where one cell phone was responsible for 300 phone calls within a four hour period. A disconnected cell phone doesn't come in with a phone number. We can't just call the person back on that line. With that in mind, um, our investigation opportunities to try to figure out who maybe had that phone last is very difficult. We knew there was likely not an emergency. Uh, the ch you could hear a child playing in the background, um, but unfortunately uh, they didn't realize that it was calling through. When you call in, we understand that you're under a lot of stress. You're dialing 911 because you're in a potential emergency situation. So for us, we want to be there as your support. We want to try and get you down to a level where you're going to be able to give us information to help you. I've had many calls when somebody calls and they say, the first thing they say is just get them here, but they haven't told us where here is. They haven't told us what's happening there. We don't know because all they know is that something major has just happened and they're scared. And so we just need to be able to calm them down, get them back on track and focus so that they can help us to help them.